Visa requirements for Indian citizens are administrative entry restrictions by the authorities of other states placed on citizens of India. As of 9 October 2018, Indian citizens had visa-free or visa-on-arrival access to 60 countries and territories, and ranking the Indian passport 81st in terms of travel freedom according to the Henley Passport Index. Recent changes the requirement for a visa was removed by Indonesia and Ukraine in July 2017, Qatar in August 2017, Serbia in September 2017, Tunisia in October 2017. Visa-free status was granted to parts of the Russian Far East, Primory and the rest of Khabarovsk, Sakhalin, Chukotka and Kamchatka regions in 2018. Australia started offering an online, E-600 visitor visa to Indian passport bearers in July 2017. Kyrgyzstan followed suit with online visitor visas in September 2017, Armenia in November 2017, and both Vietnam and Uzbekistan in 2018. Indians already in possession of a valid UK, US, Canada or Schengen visa became eligible to apply for a visa on arrival for Oman in October 2017, and Armenia in November 2017. All Indian passport bearers became eligible for a visa on arrival for Gabon in October 2017, Rwanda in January 2018 Zimbabwe, Angola and Jordan in February 2018, the Bahamas but only with a valid Schengen, UK, US or Canadian visa, on 24 April 2018 and Iran on the 22nd of July 2018. Eligible Indian travelers can now participate in the Global Entry Program for expedited entry into the United States. France abolished airport transit visas, ADA, for Indian nationals after 23 July 2018. Visa requirements map Visa requirements Dependent, disputed, or restricted territories Unrecognized or partially recognized countries dependent and autonomous territories Other territories Australia. Ashmore and Cartier Islands, special authorization required. Belarus. Belovskaya Pushchin National Park visa not required for three days, must first obtain an electronic pass. Belarus. Brest and Grodno visa not required for 10 days. Crimea visa issued by Russia is required. China. Hainan visa on arrival for 15 days. Available at Heiko Milan International Airport and Sanya Phoenix International Airport. Visa not required for 21 days for traveling as part of a tourist group two or more people. China. Tibet Autonomous Region, Tibet travel permit required 10 U.S. dollars. Colombia. San Andres and Leticia, visitors arriving at Gustavo Rojas Pinilla International Airport and Alfredo Vazquez Cobo International Airport must buy tourist cards on arrival. Ecuador. Galapagos – online pre-registration is required. Transit control card must also be obtained at the airport prior to departure. Eritrea outside Asmara, to travel in the rest of the country, a travel permit for foreigners is required 20 Eritrean NACFA. Fiji. Lao Province – special permission required. Greece Mount Athos – Special Permit Required – 4 days, 25 euro for Orthodox visitors, 35 euro for non-Orthodox visitors, 18 euro for students. There is a visitor's quota, maximum 100 Orthodox and 10 non-Orthodox per day and women are not allowed. Iran – Kish Island – Visa not required. Kazakhstan. Closed cities, special permission required for the town of Baikonur and surrounding areas in Kaizilorda Oblast, and the town of Gaverdiski near Almaty. North Korea outside Pyongyang, special permit required. People are not allowed to leave the capital city, tourists can only leave the capital with a governmental tourist guide, no independent moving. Malaysia. Sabah and Sarawak visa not required. These states have their own immigration authorities and passport is required to travel to them, however the same visa applies. Maldives outside Malay permission required. Tourists are generally prohibited from visiting non-resort islands without the express permission of the government of Maldives. 
Russia, several closed cities and regions in Russia require special authorization. Saudi Arabia Mecca and Medina, special access required. Non-Muslims and those following the Ahmadiyya religious movement are strictly prohibited from entry. South Korea Jeju Island, visa-free entry for 30 days for Indian citizens provided arriving directly at Jeju Island. Sudan, Darfur, separate travel permit is required. Sudan outside Khartoum, all foreigners traveling more than 25 kilometers outside of Khartoum must obtain a travel permit. Tajikistan, Gorno Badakhshan Autonomous Province, OIVR permit required 15 plus 5 Tajikistani Simoni, and another special permit free of charge is required for Lake Saras. Turkmenistan, closed cities, a special permit, issued prior to arrival by Ministry of Foreign Affairs, is required if visiting the following places, Adamarat, Chelikan, Dashogas, Sarix and Sirhetabat. United States, closed city of Mercury, Nevada, United States, special authorization is required for entry into Mercury. United States, United States Minor Outlying Islands, special permits required for Baker Island, Howland Island, Jarvis Island, Johnston Atoll, Kingman Reef, Midway Atoll, Palmyra Atoll and Wake Island. Venezuela, Margarita Island, visa not required. All visitors are fingerprinted. Vietnam, Phu Quoc, visa not required for 30 days. Yemen outside Sana. Our Aden, special permission needed for travel outside Sana. Our Aden. UN buffer zone in Cyprus, access permit is required for traveling inside the zone, except civil use areas. Korean demilitarized zone, restricted area. UNDOF zone and Gahar, restricted area. Reciprocity. The Indian government has not drafted any laws to mandate reciprocity in visa agreements with other countries. While a very small number of bilateral agreements have concluded with reciprocity for visa arrangements, a large number of visa relationships continue to be highly skewed to one side or the other. In 2015, Iran revoked visa on arrival for Indian citizens after it was included as one of the eight countries in India. S. Prior Reference Category, which would be excluded from India's visa liberalization plans for foreign tourists. The other countries on the list at the time were Pakistan, Afghanistan, Iraq, Somalia, Nigeria and Sudan. Full Reciprocity India has, by default, achieved full reciprocity in visa-free or e-visa privileges with following countries. Australia electronic visitor visa Bhutan visa not required Nepal freedom of movement Maldives visa not required for 90 days Antigua and Barbuda e visa required Ivory Coast e visa required Gabon e visa required Georgia e visa required Kenya e visa required Lesotho e visa required Malaysia e visa required Myanmar e visa required Sri Lanka e visa required Zambia e visa required Hong Kong electronic authorization required Indonesia, visa not required, 30 days. Uzbekistan, e visa required. Vietnam, e visa required. Partial reciprocity. India has achieved partial reciprocity with following countries, where Indian immigration rules afford the citizens of the following countries slightly lesser visa privileges than what the following countries provide for Indian citizens. Disparity, to the detriment of foreign citizens 
Visa privileges provided by Indian immigration for citizens of these countries are considerably less than the visa privileges provided by these countries to Indian citizens. Non-visa restrictions Passport validity length in the absence of specific bilateral agreements, countries requiring passports to be valid at least six months on arrival include Afghanistan, Algeria, Anguilla, Bahrain, Bhutan, Botswana, British Virgin Islands, Brunei, Cambodia, Cameroon, Cape Verde, Cayman Islands, Central African Republic, Chad, Comoros, Costa Rica, Côte d'Ivoire, Curaçao, Ecuador, Egypt, El Salvador, Equatorial Guinea, Fiji, Gabon, Guinea-Bissau, Guyana, Haiti, Indonesia, Iran, Iraq, Israel, Jordan, Kenya, Kiribati, Kuwait, Laos, Madagascar, Malaysia, Maldives, Marshall Islands, Mongolia, Myanmar, Namibia, Nepal, Nicaragua, Nigeria, Oman, Palau, Papua New Guinea, Philippines, Rwanda, Samoa, Saudi Arabia, Singapore, Solomon Islands, Somalia, Sri Lanka, Sudan, Suriname, Tanzania, Thailand, Timor Leste, Tokelau, Tonga, Tuvalu, Uganda, United Arab Emirates. Vanuatu, Venezuela and Vietnam, Turkey requires passports to be valid for at least 150 days upon entry. Countries requiring passports valid for at least four months on arrival include Micronesia and Zambia. Countries requiring passports valid for at least three months beyond the period of intended stay include European Union countries except the Republic of Ireland and the United Kingdom, Iceland, Liechtenstein, Norway and Switzerland and always accepting EU, EEA, Swiss nationals, Azerbaijan, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Montenegro, Nauru, Moldova, New Zealand and three months validity on arrival in Albania, Honduras, Macedonia, Panama, Qatar and Senegal. Bermuda requires passports to be valid for at least 45 days upon entry. Countries that require a passport validity of at least one month beyond the period of intended stay include Eritrea, Hong Kong, Lebanon, Macau and South Africa. Other countries require either a passport valid on arrival or a passport valid throughout the period of the intended stay. Some countries have bilateral agreements with other countries to shorten the period of passport validity required for each other's citizens or even accept passports that have already expired, but not been cancelled. Blank passport pages Many countries require a minimum number of blank pages in the passport being presented, generally one or two pages. Endorsement pages, which often appear after the visa pages, are not counted as being available. Vaccination Many African countries, including Angola, Benin, Burkina Faso, Cameroon, Central African Republic, Chad, Democratic Republic of the Congo, Republic of the Congo, Côte d'Ivoire, Equatorial Guinea, Gabon, Ghana, Guinea, Liberia, Mali, Mauritania, Niger, Rwanda, Sao Tome and Principe, Senegal, Sierra Leone, Uganda, and Zambia, require all incoming passengers to have a current international certificate of vaccination. Some other countries require vaccination only if the passenger is coming from an infected area or has recently visited one. Israeli stamps Kuwait, Lebanon, Libya, Saudi Arabia, Sudan, Syria and Yemen do not allow entry to people with passport stamps from Israel or whose passports have either a used or an unused Israeli visa, or where there is evidence of previous travel to Israel such as entry or exit stamps from neighboring border posts in transit countries such as Jordan and Egypt. To circumvent this Arab League boycott of Israel, the Israeli immigration services have now mostly ceased to stamp foreign nationals' passports on either entry to or exit from Israel. Since 15 January 2013, Israel no longer stamps foreign passports at Ben Gurion Airport, giving passengers a card instead that reads. Since January 2013 a pilot scheme has been introduced whereby visitors are given an entry card instead of an entry stamp on arrival. You should keep this card with your passport until you leave. This is evidence of your legal entry into Israel and may be required, particularly at any crossing points into the occupied Palestinian territories. 
Passports are still, as of the 22nd of June 2017, stamped at Erez when traveling into and out of Gaza. Also, passports are still stamped, as of the 22nd of June 2017, at the Jordan Valley, Sheikh Hussein and Yitzhak Rabin, Arava land borders with Jordan. Iran refuses admission to holders of passports containing an Israeli visa or stamp that is less than 12 months old. Armenian ethnicity Due to a state of war existing between Armenia and Azerbaijan, the government of Azerbaijan not only bans entry of citizens from Armenia, but also all citizens and nationals of any other country who are of Armenian descent, to the Republic of Azerbaijan, although there have been exceptions, notably for Armenia's participation at the 2015 European Games held in Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan also strictly bans any visit by foreign citizens to the separatist region of Nagorno-Karabakh, the de facto independent Republic of Artsakh, its surrounding territories and the Azerbaijani exclaves of Kharki, Yuxari Skipara, Bargzudarli and Sofulu which are de jure part of Azerbaijan but under control of Armenia, without the prior consent of the government of Azerbaijan. Foreign citizens who enter these occupied territories will be permanently banned from entering the Republic of Azerbaijan and will be included in their list of personae non grati. As of April 2018 the list contains 710 persons. Upon request, the authorities of the largely unrecognized Republic of Artsakh may attach their visa and or stamps to a separate piece of paper in order to avoid detection of travel to their country. Criminal record Some countries for example, Australia, Canada, Fiji, New Zealand and the United States, routinely deny entry to non-citizens who have a criminal record. Persona non grata The government of a country can declare a diplomat persona non grata, banning their entry into that country. In non-diplomatic use, the authorities of a country may also declare a foreigner persona non grata permanently or temporarily, usually because of unlawful activity. Attempts to enter the Gaza Strip by sea may attract a 10-year ban on entering Israel. Fingerprinting Several countries mandate that all travelers, or all foreign travelers, be fingerprinted on arrival and will refuse admission to or even arrest those travelers that refuse to comply. In some countries, such as the United States, this may apply even to transit passengers who merely wish to quickly change planes rather than go landside. Fingerprinting countries include Afghanistan, Argentina, Brunei, Cambodia, China when entering through Shenzhen Airport Ethiopia Ghana, India Japan Malaysia upon entry and departure Paraguay, Saudi Arabia, Singapore, South Korea, and Taiwan. Additionally, the United Arab Emirates conducts iris scanning on visitors who need to apply for a visa. Foreign travel statistics According to the statistics these are the numbers of Indian visitors to various countries in 2015, unless otherwise noted. See also Visa policy of India Indian nationality law Overseas citizenship of India References and notes References Notes